a Wikivide Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Hungary Hungary is a country in Central Europe that covers an area of 93,030 square kilometers in the Carpathian Basin, bordered by Slovakia to the north, Ukraine to the northeast, Austria to the northwest, Romania to the east, Serbia to the south, Croatia to the southwest, and Slovenia to the west. With about 10 million inhabitants, Hungary is a medium-sized member state of the European Union. The official language is Hungarian, which is the most widely spoken Uralic language in the world. Hungary's capital and its largest city and metropolis is Budapest, a significant economic hub. Classified as a leading global city, major urban areas include Debrecen, Sijd Miskolc, Pex, and Gaia. Following centuries of successive habitation by Celts, Romans, West Slavs, Gepards, and Avars, the foundation of Hungary was laid in the late 9th century by the Hungarian Grand Prince Arpad in the conquest of the Carpathian Basin. His great-grandson Stephen I ascended the throne in 1000, converting the country to a Christian kingdom. By the 12th century, Hungary became a middle power within the Western world, reaching a golden age by the 15th century. Following the Battle of Mohács in 1526 and about 150 years of partial Ottoman occupation, Hungary came under Habsburg rule, and later formed the great power Austro-Hungarian Empire together with Austria. Hungary's current borders were established in 1920 by the Treaty of Trianon after World War I when the country lost 71% of its territory, 58% of its population, and 32% of ethnic Hungarians. Following the interwar period, Hungary joined the Axis powers in World War II. Suffering significant damage and casualties, Hungary became a satellite state of the Soviet Union, which contributed to the establishment of a socialist republic spanning four decades. The country gained widespread international attention regarding the Revolution of 1956 and the seminal opening of its previously restricted border with Austria in 1989, which accelerated the collapse of the Eastern Bloc. On 23 October 1989, Hungary again became a democratic parliamentary republic. In the 21st century, Hungary is a middle power and has the world's 57th largest economy by nominal GDP, as well as the 58th largest by PPP out of 191 countries measured by IMF, as a substantial actor in several industrial and technological sectors. It is the world's 35th largest exporter and 34th largest importer of goods. Hungary is an OECD high-income economy with a very high standard of living. It keeps up a social security and universal healthcare system, and a tuition-free university education. Hungary performs well in international rankings. It is 20th in quality of life, 24th in good country index, 28th in inequality-adjusted human development. 32nd in the Social Progress Index, 33rd in Global Innovation Index, and ranks as the 15th safest country in the world. Hungary joined the European Union in 2004, and has been part of the Schengen area since 2007. Hungary is a member of the United Nations. NATO, WTO, World Bank, the AIIB, the Council of Europe, the Visegrad Group and more. Well known for its rich cultural history, Hungary has contributed significantly to arts, music, literature, sports and science and technology. Hungary is the 11th most popular country as a tourist destination in Europe attracting 14.3 million international tourists in 2015. It is home to the largest thermal water cave system and the second largest thermal lake in the world, the largest lake in Central Europe and the largest natural grasslands in Europe. Etymology 
the H in the name of Hungary is most likely due to early ill-founded historical associations with the Huns, who had settled Hungary prior to the Avars. The rest of the word comes from the Latinized form of medieval Greek Angroi. According to an explanation, the Greek name was borrowed from Proto-Slavic Guri, in turn borrowed from Oga, Turkic Onoga. Onoga was the collective name for the tribes who later joined the Bulgar tribal confederacy that ruled the eastern parts of Hungary after the Avars. The Hungarian endonym is Magyar or Sorg, composed of Magyar and Orsorg. The word Magyar is taken from the name of one of the seven major semi-nomadic Hungarian tribes, Magyari. The first element Magi is likely from proto ugric Mank, man, person, also found in the name of the Mansi people. The second element Ari, man, men, lineage, survives in Hungarian Fe Akutaj, husband, and is cognate with Mari Urge, son. Finnish Archaikika, young man. Before 895, the Roman Empire conquered the territory west of the Danube between 35 and 9 BC. From 9 BC to the end of the 4th century, Pannonia was part of the Roman Empire, located within part of later Hungary's territory. Here, a 600-strong Roman legion created the settlement Aquincum in AD 41-54. A civil city grew gradually in the neighborhood of the military settlement, and in AD 106 Aquincum became the focal point of the commercial life of this area and the capital city of the Pannonian Inferior Region. This area now corresponds to the Obuda district of Budapest, with the Roman ruins now forming part of the modern Aquincum Museum. Later came the Hun, who built a powerful empire. After Hunnish rule, the Germanic Ostrogoths, Lombards, and Gepids, and the polyethnic Avars, had a presence in the Carpathian Basin. In the 9th century, East Francia, the first Bulgarian Empire, and Great Moravia ruled the territory of the Carpathian Basin. The land was inhabited mainly by Avars. The Magyars advancing through the Carpathian Basin encountered the Hungarian-speaking Sekli, people who inhabited the land at that time. Both contemporary sources and a growing amount of archaeological evidence suggest that groups of the Avars survived the disintegration of their empire. The freshly unified Hungarians led by Arp had settled in the Carpathian Basin starting in 895. According to linguistic evidence, they originated from an ancient Uralic-speaking population that formerly inhabited the forested area between the Volga River and the Ural Mountains. Medieval Hungary 895-1526 as a federation of united tribes, Hungary was established in 895, some 50 years after the division of the Carolingian Empire at the Treaty of Verdun in 843, before the unification of the Anglo-Saxon kingdoms. Initially, the rising Principality of Hungary was a state consisting of a semi-nomadic people. It accomplished an enormous transformation into a Christian realm during the 10th century. This state was well functioning and the nation's military power allowed the Hungarians to conduct successful fierce campaigns and raids from Constantinople to as far as today's Spain. The Hungarians defeated no fewer than three major East Frankish imperial armies between 907 and 910. A later defeat at the Battle of Lechfeld in 955 signaled a provisory end to most campaigns on foreign territories, at least towards the west. Age of Arpadian King The year 972 marked the date when the ruling prince G. E. Acute day of the Arpad dynasty officially started to integrate Hungary into the Christian Western Europe. His firstborn son, St. Stephen I, became the first king of Hungary after defeating his pagan uncle Kopany, who also claimed the throne. 
Under Stephen, Hungary was recognized as a Catholic Apostolic Kingdom. Applying to Pope Sylvester II, Stephen received the insignia of royalty from the papacy. By 1006, Stephen had consolidated his power, and started sweeping reforms, to convert Hungary into a Western feudal state. The country switched to using the Latin language, and until as late as 1844, Latin remained the official language of Hungary. Hungary became a powerful kingdom. Ladislaus I extended Hungary's frontier in Transylvania, and invaded Croatia in 1091. The Croatian campaign culminated in the Battle of Gvozd Mountain in 1097 and a personal union of Croatia and Hungary in 1102, ruled by Coloman i.e. Konev Kalman, the most powerful and wealthiest king of the Arpad dynasty was Bela III, who disposed of the equivalent of 23 tons of pure silver a year. This exceeded the income of the French king and was double the receipts of the English crown. Andrew II issued the Diploma Andreanum which secured the special privileges of the Transylvanian Saxons and is considered the first autonomy law in the world. He led the Fifth Crusade to the Holy Land in 1217, setting up the largest royal army in the history of Crusades. His Golden Bull of 1222 was the first constitution in continental Europe. The lesser nobles also began to present Andrew with grievances, a practice that evolved into the institution of the parliament. In 1241-1242, the kingdom received a major blow with the Mongol invasion. Up to half of Hungary's then population of two million were victims of the invasion. King Bela IV let Cumans and Jassic people into the country, who were fleeing the Mongols. Over the centuries, they were fully assimilated into the Hungarian population. As a consequence, after the Mongols retreated, King Bela ordered the construction of hundreds of stone castles and fortifications to defend against a possible second Mongol invasion. The Mongols returned to Hungary in 1285, but the newly built stone castle systems and new tactics stopped them. The invading Mongol force was defeated near Pest by the royal army of Ladislaus IV of Hungary. As with later invasions, it was repelled handily, the Mongols losing much of their invading force. Age of elected king The kingdom of Hungary reached one of its greatest extents during the Arpadian kings, yet royal power was weakened at the end of their rule in 1301. After a destructive period of interregnum, the first Angevin king, Charles I of Hungary, a bilineal descendant of the Arpad dynasty, successfully restored royal power and defeated oligarch rivals, the so called Little Kings. The second Angevin Hungarian king, Louis the Great, led many successful military campaigns from Lithuania to southern Italy, and was also King of Poland from 1370. After King Louis died without a male heir, the country was stabilized only when Sigismund of Luxembourg succeeded to the throne, who in 1433 also became Holy Roman Emperor. Sigismund was also a bilineal descendant of the Arpad dynasty. The first Hungarian Bible translation was completed in 1439. For half a year in 1437, there was an anti-feudal and anti-clerical peasant revolt in Transylvania, the Budai Nagyantal Revolt, which was strongly influenced by Hussite ideas. From a small noble family in Transylvania, John Hunyadi grew to become one of the country's most powerful lords, thanks to his outstanding capabilities as a mercenary commander. He was elected governor then regent. He was a successful crusader against the Ottoman Turks, one of his greatest victories being the siege of Belgrade in 1456. The last strong king of medieval Hungary was the Renaissance king Matthias Corvinus, son of John Hunyadi. His election was the first time that a member of the nobility mounted to the Hungarian royal throne without dynastic background. 
He was a successful military leader, and an enlightened patron of the arts and learning. His library, the Bibliotheca Corviniana, was Europe's greatest collection of historical chronicles, philosophic, and scientific works in the 15th century, and second only in size to the Vatican Library. The library is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The serfs and common people considered him a just ruler, because he protected them from excessive demands, from and other abuses by the magnates. Under his rule, in 1479, the Hungarian army destroyed the Ottoman and Wallachian troops at the Battle of Breadfield. Abroad he defeated the Polish and German imperial armies of Frederick at Breslau. Matthias's mercenary standing army, the Black Army of Hungary, was an unusually large army for its time, and it conquered parts of Austria, Vienna and parts of Bohemia. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Would you like to know more?